goodbye to 15 minutes of fashion with Nina Johnson or Nina J as you know me on the old Instagrams and the book of faces so today I just wanted to show you some of the fun things I found at Nordstrom.com and Amazon I think they're great buys um, it's kind of like a hosh posh I can't decide if I'm gonna just cancel summer because of COVID um, so a lot of my things are going to be like getting you ready for fall but there's some things that you can still you know if you're adventurous and you're getting out there doing covid good for you simulate the economy that's great i mean i'm at home but if that's what you're doing i found some fun things for you to rock this summer but there'll be some of these things that you'll probably buy and you'll be saving until it gets cooler i mean i'm just ready for fall i'm in my air-conditioned home so i'm in my favorite sweater love this sweater shout out to the real real um, I think I need like some checks from the real world. I'm forever giving them shout outs, but they are fantastic and I love just their designer clothing. Um, so jumping right in with the fun things that I found from Nordstrom. Also, I'm out of breath because I like danced for a little bit with my little before this and um, I need to get out more and like work out. Not get out more as in like go out for COVID because she's not doing that, but get out a little more and work out. So I did a video I don't know three or four fashion 15 minutes of fashions ago I don't know if that was the right way to say that but you you catch my drift you're picking up what I'm putting down and I was like there is no acceptable alternative I'm not gonna show a dupe for a Chanel bag because there's just not one okay I lied so Kurt Unger this brand is at Nordstrom I think he has a or Kurt Unger I'm assuming that's a gentleman he has an online store. I've also seen them at Dillard's. I absolutely adore these handbags. Um, price point, they run anywhere between, I think $200 and I've seen some as much as maybe like closer to 500 in the 500 range. I think this one was closer to two something. It is a beautiful, handbag and if you have a what i would do if i were you i would pin um a chanel pin on here and just roll out i mean it's your chanel pin you're not trying to be something you're not you own the chanel pin you own the kurt unger bag like go for it i think it's a great chanel inspired bag it is one of my new favorite things i think it looks really cute with my chanel sweater my current ensemble um really love these bags the chain, it's nice quality, but it's not terribly heavy. It has a little snap closure, double snap on the front. And it's a pretty good bag. <laughs> I mean, it's new and I still has a tag on it, but I found a way to hide lip gloss from my daughter. I ordered her a makeup set and it came with like real lip gloss. So I hid it from her in here. Um, you Makeup not included in your purchase or little girl makeup not included in your purchase. But it's a great quality handbag and you can do it with a longer shoulder strap kind of crossbody or double shoulder strap and then what you could you could do the same thing that you do with your um with your chanel bags you could pull the chains down i just put a hair clamp on it and put it inside the bag and do it as like an oversized clutch underarm really really cool options here with this bag absolutely adore it so next up staying at nordstrom all right, I'm gonna take this cut and I'll be right back with the mannequin, with it on the mannequin. Okay, I'm back and hoping that you can see this. This is a gorgeous, um, I did a recently, last, last week I did, or earlier this week, I did a video talking about Balmain inspired blazers and these had not come in yet. Um, these aren't solid prints, but they're halogen blazers and they may bring the solid colors back for the fall, but they're like, Pre-fall items are super pretty, cut really slim. I love the double-breasted look. It's a little longer, more of like a waist um, kind of coat on this. Let me lift her up a little bit, more of a waist length on this. But these blazers are so beautiful. They're giving me like, you know, spring, what was that? Spring 2018, like Chanel collection. I love the tweed. Um, love the gold buttons, super pretty, and halogen is great, has a really great price point at around 160 for these, and they also have it, I'm not going to put this one on the mannequin because I struggled 
and it was not a graceful transition I'm not proud of myself but they also have it in this really really pretty pink too uh, trimmed in pink a pink tweed you guys these are really beautiful jackets and if you're looking for um, the Balmain or Chanel look without the price tag this halogen brand is really great and they have these at Nordstrom as well and I'll put up a link to these and I'm just gonna leave her over here so I can continue and have a less uh, clunky pedestrian looking video next up I wanted to show you Gucci did a really cool player pair player pair of octagon shades with a chain and I bought these octagon shades and the chain separately on Amazon absolutely adore this look uh, the Gucci version of these $800. I think I bought the chain for 12 and the glasses were like 20. The shades rather were 20. Love this look. Think it's so fun. I mean, I can't really see what it look like. I hope probably not with this hairstyle with my little fringe in the front, not really working, but um, love, love, love this look. And they have um, these chains in a bunch of different color options. So this is a black marble. Uh, my one drawback is I don't, they didn't, I couldn't find a solid black. So if you're looking for a solid black option, I couldn't find that. But they have a really pretty jade. I think the jade's so pretty enough. Like the jade's more of an accent color, so you could do it with anything. I love these. They're so unnecessary. And because of that, I wouldn't want to spend like designer pricing on it. Like if I just like want the look for a little bit, like this isn't gonna be around for very long. I mean, Fendi's doing them. You know what? I'm gonna say that, and then this won't age well, and then they'll be around forever. And I'll be sad that I said they wouldn't be around for very long, but they have these chains in lots of fun colors. They have them in like a tortoise and this white kind of acetate um, marbled look. So really love these. They're really cool. So these chains also link where you can purchase the sunglass chains as well because I love them. And then there's an obnoxious one, an obnoxious chain. Um, it's so obnoxious, but I would totally do this. I mean, I just would. And I'll link this one too. Too heavy, totally obnoxious, almost hurts my face, almost takes my glasses off, but I love it. I mean, it's really heavy. It's stupid. But I mean, it'd be good for a picture, right? Like duck lips, I don't know. I love it, so I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> um, so we shifted if you are having trouble following. We talked about the Kurt Unger bag, the halogen blazers. Now we've left Nordstrom and we're on to just hardcore Amazon. Um, another thing that I found on Amazon, Carl Lagerfeld, before he passed away, released the um, Chanel 19 flat bag, which is so pretty. And the theme on that bag had three different color metals. I think it was like a silver, like a gold, and I think it might have been like a rhodium. I can't remember the name of it, but basically it was like a shiny silver and like a matte silver and a shiny gold, or I can't remember the matte. Anywho, three different color metals. Um, and so this bag I found on Amazon, really cute little backpack tote here. And I love the bucket bag look. I think lots of designers, I don't think, I'm pretty certain. I've seen lots of designers do bucket bags. Absolutely adore these. This one's super pretty. And it has the mixed metals on it, which I think is a cute little wink to, um, a cool little wink rather, to the Chanel uh, 19 bag and um i think if you were carrying this i mean it would give the illusion it doesn't have cc's on it but it's a really nice quality leather inspired leather it's vegan leather so it's not a, a true leather but a, it's really good quality nice and soft um it's the caviar inspired version really like this little backpack and i think you could even do it like if the straps weren't all together i mean you could do it like on one shoulder and it's like a little bucket bag. I just think it's really cute. And I love that it's it's the mixed metals. I don't know if you're able to see that. Don't want to come too close because I always get too close to the camera and the ring light like just takes everything out. Also, who needs to see my mug that close to the camera? Love, love, love these. So this will I will link on my site as well. And then I got these on Amazon, but they are San Eldermans, and you could probably get them anywhere. Um, espadrilles. Chanel has a pair, Gucci has a pair, everybody's done a pair of espadrilles and I think these are good to transition you through kind of um, summer, spring to pre-fall depending on where you are if you're not in a really cold climate. I wear my Chanel espadrilles all year long. They, From far away they would look like a Chanel espadrille minus the two C's on the front but they're really nice quality. Um, Sam Elderman 
took care in like putting a little bit of heel support in them. Really comfortable shoes. Really great option to the Chanel Espadrille. It has the double, um, the double layer uh, sole too, which Chanel is doing. So super pretty shoe. Really good buy. I'll link these. Got them on Amazon. And I'll link these on the site as well. But I really like these a lot. So if you're looking for... And also, you can't even, like, find those Chanel Espadrilles really anywhere. Like, I don't know why Chanel makes, like, two of every size for the whole entire world to just fight over. I mean, hard times. But you can get these readily available, easily accessible, at a really good price on Amazon. Um, also, back to my favorite designer. I don't know what, like, Daniel Lee is eating for breakfast to give him the greatness. But Bottega Veneta is just on another level with all their fantastic things. And I know I showed the dumpling bag and it's so 80s or, I mean, I feel like it's kind of 80s, 70s, 80s. But Bottega Veneta also done like a little shoulder version of the dumpling bag that you could kind of do up high on your shoulder, which I've seen not on the shoulder, or you can do it kind of as an arm bag. Um, but love this. This one's really soft. The color's really pretty. Uh, I know in a past video I was talking about this specific color without the gold chain, just the standard dumpling, and I got it in and I didn't like it, but this one I think is so pretty. It's the vegan leather, really soft, um, the closures really sturdy, which I like in a good in a good bag. I like it to close and just know it's closed. Um, maybe I'm just too paranoid, but love this bag. I think it's great and it looks just like um, the Bottega Veneta version. So it's a re really good designer inspired dude, but it's like really soft too. It's like buttery soft and it doesn't feel pleathery or plasticky at all. Really like this bag. And we're just going to stay with Bottega Veneta for a minute because I don't know, they're fantastic. Like everything Daniel Lee is touching lately has turned to gold. So Bottega Veneta has done these shoes with the square toe and the quilting. He has them in a quilted version and in a version with weaving. I have not seen the version. Also, that's from Amazon, the bag, backtracking. Um, I've not seen the, fast forward to these, Bottega Veneta has these in two versions. So this was the earlier version, quilted. They also have a version that is woven and I have not seen that version yet and designer inspired dupe. But I did find these on Amazon and what I like about them, um, it's padded on both sides and so they're they're more comfortable um, than, than a lot of mules that I've seen and they're padded on the inside just like the Bottega Veneta version is. And I love the super square toe and I don't know if I need to come back or forwards. I'll put a picture up of these um, in this video so you can see a good picture of it. But really like these shoes. They're really cute and I mean, I don't know if the square toe is going to be around very long. So I think if even if I did want to spend $1,200 on the authentic, well, the, this version is $800. The new version that's woven is um, $1,200. They're really pretty, but I just don't know, like, how long is this kind of 80s looking white quilted shoe going to be around? I mean, they're beautiful, so it could be forever. But in the interim, I think this is a really good buy. And I think these were in between, don't quote me again because I have a tendency to roll back the price just to protect my husband's sanity um, these might have been between like 30 40 bucks so I really like these they're really cool and the quilting seems like it's really good quality and the stitching seems to be nice and deep and not just surface too on the quilting so it gives you a nice little puff so really pretty shoes here so Bottega Veneta doing lots of square toes they're also doing this like kind of barely there strappy sandal and a heel that puts you in the feeling of an Amina Muadi, the kind of square hoodie heel. Love, love, love these shoes. I love the square toe. I love the barely there straps. All that's very true to Bottega Veneta. So um, definitely go check these out. These are super pretty. Uh, I think they're no, these are a different brand. Um, they're not the same brand, but I'll link both sellers on my page so you can check out both sellers. So love these. And then the last pair I just kind of happened upon. I don't know that they're designer inspired, but I put them on and they were so cute. And so I was like, I'm just going to show them. Um, I love these little super strappy uh, neon sandals. Uh, they're barely there neon sandals. I love the heel. I think it's really cool how it's... Um, it's, it gives you the block heel illusion from the back, but it's almost like very looks very stiletto from the side. So you have the support of a block heel, but not like the super chunky thick look. And I love the barely their straps 
it's all elastic it's not that uncomfortable of a shoe really pretty and neons all over the runway for um, surprisingly like spring through pre-fall lots of neon monochromatic looks I mean people are even doing like kind of mixing seasons so I would allow like put on a look white jean and this top and these shoes super cute and these are also on ah, driving things also on Amazon so lots of cute little finds here you guys um, and I think that did I cover everything I have covered everything and so that's it for this uh, installation of Fashion Friday I hope to see you guys back here next oh is it the, what not Fashion Friday whatever day this is for 15 5 to 15 minutes of fashion um, you guys please join me for the next installation or edition not sure what I'm gonna roll with moving forward but um hug each other love each other stay well and I'll see you guys soon